Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceOurStory.com. I'd like to share with another update. Uh, this is the car that I've nicknamed uh, Orange Crush. It's the highly custom uh, Volkswagen Bug uh, with a, uh, a major attitude adjustment. It has the uh, uh, genuine Volkswagen VR6 engine. So I guess we'll kind of bounce around. Uh, we've got the double wide rear fenders uh, with the Porsche bolt pattern styled wheels. Uh, they were the regular alloy and now they're uh, polished. We'll be putting the center caps back on, so now they're high polished. In a previous video, we shared with you where this, uh, where this custom bug, uh, we had the Willwood brakes both on the front and then we did a disc brake conversion on the rear um, and we were getting the wheels polished. So now that the wheels are polished, um, we are, we're focusing on changing the nose and upgrading the nose because with this uh, turbo VR6 engine, with our intercooler back here, uh, if you recall in the previous video, we had uh, whoever built the car originally had a really big radiator in the back and it was sucking all the heat. And now we have the radiator in the front. Um, so we'll share that with you too. So um, it needed more cooling. So as we come down this side, on the driver's side, you can see the wheels. We have the, uh, the Porsche center cap uh, put back on. It's got quite a nice stance to it. Um, and with a high polished wheel as opposed to the non high polished it does look a little bit smarter in my opinion and then as we come down the driver's side along the front uh, same idea you've got the uh, the nice look there as you come along the front of the nose uh, it doesn't look like it's a, a huge amount of work but this was uh, a lot of work so what i'll do is basically just share with you Here's where we had the radiator installed. So uh, this is a, a three-core aluminum rad. It has a rheostat built in. Uh, it comes on and off uh, with a dial that we've preset, so you don't have to worry about turning switches on or off. Uh, it has a high-capacity S-blade fan for cooling, but what we had found is it was still not getting enough airflow. Uh, we built a small little scoop in the bottom uh, we didn't think it was going to be enough. We mentioned to our client we're probably going to have to do a cutout uh, to get more air, but we wanted to try without cutting into the body because he wanted to look as much as stock beetle as possible. So what we've done is we've now created this air dam or scoop and um, this is quite a bit of work. A lot of guys will do a fiberglass nose or an aftermarket nose. This front apron is the genuine uh, Volkswagen steel front apron and what we've done is we basically our client had the shape in mind of what he wanted and then what we did is we marked it and we cut out the metal and then we made out of steel the pieces to make this scoop that goes and it goes uh, fairly deep inside I don't know if the camera person can pick it up but we have um, a mesh grill honeycomb style grill uh, inside it's a metal grill and then we've painted it black and it has quite a nice shape or a contour uh, down inside so we have our lower scoop here that uh, was bringing some air in but not enough so now we have this lower scoop and then we have this larger scoop which almost looks like uh, an air dam kind of set up and it looks quite nice in my opinion and then we're able to match the paint up quite nicely um, so now it has quite a smart look. Now the hood is quite dusty and dirty, but you can see uh, with it uh, installed, it has a little more of an aggressive look to it, but it serves a great purpose, and that's maximum airflow uh, providing fresh air coming into the radiator. So this is the, uh, the highly custom beetle that I've, I've nicknamed Orange Crush. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.